Welcome to the Design Studio. We put together the Design Studio so that you, our clients, could very quickly and easily customize and design graphics for apparel and other products online easily through our websites and then either save those designs or go ahead and purchase them directly through our website. Let's first start by taking a look at the workspace in the Design Studio. The first thing I want to be aware of is that we can zoom in and zoom out on our designs over here with the zoom buttons. We can also pull back on our mouse wheel and that will zoom out or push forward and then zoom in on our design. This enables us to customize our apparel or products and be able to zoom in on our design and also zoom out to get a really good idea of what our finished design will look like on our apparel or other products. Up here we have our menu and here you'll be able to select a number of different things. You'll be able to select a product, add clip art, add text, review design ideas, and save your design. Let's take a look at select product. Go ahead and click on this and we'll have a catalog come up. We'll be able to scroll through the different products available in our catalogs. Here we have a simple two color ringer garment. I'll go ahead and click on that and that will load into our Design Studio workspace. Over here we have the product manager and we can take a look at this and we can change the different colors that we have set up for our products and we can view what the different color scenarios available with our products will look like. We can also change our print area or our region of design for our product up in here. If there was multiple print areas available it would be listed right here. You notice as I scroll over the garment here you'll see that I have the design area for the garment set up here and I'll be constrained within this design area when I'm designing. If I want to add clip art I can come here to the clip art menu, click on that and that will open up my clip art catalog. Now I can go ahead and browse through random graphics here. I can actually go through categories if I want to or I can do a search and let's do a search for let's say butterfly. Then I'll go ahead and hit enter. And all of a sudden I'll have all the different butterfly clip arts available in the system. Now this system is loaded with thousands of pieces of art that you can use to create very nice detailed design. We put together some very nice clean art for you. I'm going to go ahead here and just click on one of the butterflies and we'll add that to this garment. I'll go ahead and go with right here and that will bring that in. Now you notice that when a piece of art comes in we can left click, hold down and we'll be able to move that piece of art. We can also use these handles around the piece of art to resize it or rotate it as you can see there. Now if I make a move or do something that I didn't want to do I can simply hit control Z on my keyboard and that will undo that. Let's take a look at the objects properties here. The first thing I want to be aware of is that we can lock the object so that it will scale proportionally as you can see there. We can also arrange our objects down here and we can also align our objects down here. If I want to center this I click on that you can see that that just moved ever so slightly. If I come over here and move this to the left and then just come here and click on center it'll center it. I can also center it horizontally as you can see there. The next thing you want to be aware of when we're working with clip art is we have our clip art color manager here. We have a couple of different settings available here. First of all we have a one color that you can see right there and I can invert that and I can change that color up here with the color chip to let's say a black if I want to do this as a one color butterfly. I also have a two color available and I also have available a full color version of this clip art. And I can manage and change my colors very simply by just clicking on the color chips and then scrolling through with my mouse which color I'd like to use in that piece of clip art. And you can see I just changed that to a yellow and I'll go ahead and change this to a yellow also. And now I've basically got three colors used in my design. Black, gray, and of course the yellow. Now that I've set up my butterfly clip art, the next thing I'd probably want to do is add some text. And that's very easy to do also. I can come up here to the text menu, click on that. That's going to bring some text into my design. Then I can come over here to the text editor. And I can go ahead and enter my text. And we'll just enter butterfly for now. Now I can go ahead and start to work with my text. Now that I've got my text entered, I'll go ahead and left click and drag this over and center it above my butterfly. I can come down here and left click and select different fonts that I might want to apply to that. Come down here and take a look at a script like this here. And we've got some nice butterfly text set up. I can also add an effect to that text. I can come here and let's say I want to set that text up to arch. 
let's say that that's more arch than I want. I can come over here to adjust effect, left click, hold down, slide back, and we'll change how that arch is applied or how much arch is applied to that text. I can change the color of my text here. Let's say I want that to be yellow. And then I could come down here to my text outlines and drop shadow and I could add an outline. Let's go to outline one, click on that and we'll make that visible. I can come down here for the color, change that to a black. If I want to reduce the thickness of that outline, I can slide this back here and that'll do that. Now at this point, looking at the amount of detail we're working with, I probably want to zoom in. So I'm just going to push forward on the wheel in my on my mouse, the scroll wheel on my mouse, as you can see there. Now, if I click on an object, I'll automatically get all the different tools that I can use to work with and edit that object. If I want to save the design, all I need to do is come up here and click on Save Design. And I'll have the option to log into my account, or I can create a new account, as you can see here. And then once I save a design, it'll automatically be saved in my account in the My Design section. Go ahead and close this. Let's say we want to work with design ideas. We don't want to create our own custom design. Then we can simply come over here to design ideas. And that'll open a catalog of our design ideas. Let's say I'm working on a football design. I'll go ahead and type in the keyword football and hit enter. And I come down here and click to show more results and I can see all of the different football designs that we have available in the system. To load a design, all you do is simply click on that design and it'll automatically be loaded into my workspace. Go ahead and zoom out here. Now, if I want to select all these objects and move them or change the size of them, I can hold down my shift key and just click on the different objects and select them all. So I've got them all selected together and then I can start to move them around. I could make them smaller or I could make them bigger. Let's say I want to make this just a little bit bigger. Go ahead and center that up. As you can see there, I'll go ahead and click off and then I'll go ahead and just kind of fix how these things are set up. I'm going to click off here, click on here, and I'm going to move this over there. I'm going to take these two American footballs and just move them, American football, and just move them down a bit. Let's say I wanted to rotate this Y on the side of the helmet like that. And let's say I want to give that an outline. I just come up here and click on this. Change that color to, let's say, a black. And as you can see, I've very quickly customized this design. Let's say I want to change your team. We'll change that to, let's say, Westville. And you can see that I'm able to customize and tweak these designs out very quickly and very easily. So you can see that working with the Design Studio, anybody can very quickly and easily set up, customize, save, and order their own designs directly through our website. Thank you for taking time to review our Design Studio video.